everyone, I'm Honeywell and this is Stardew Valley. And it is the first of all, so we have, it goes without saying, we have a lot of work to do. Who is this? Thanks dad for the stone. <laughs> This seems like inappropriate <laughs> for some reason to me. Okay, um, we have a lot to do because it is a uh, planting day. And that's right. And a uh, genius that I am, I left I left my scythe at the at the mine. Which I need, so it's a good thing that, uh, as far as, uh, first of the months go, ours is gonna be rel relatively relaxed. I mean, we'll still be working, like, all night, but there's time to, uh, take care of chores and stuff, which is different than the way it usually is. For me, I don't know what everyone else's is like. Okay. Yes, I know. Good morning, ladies. Play. Try and stay off the fields, though. That's all I'm saying. Oh, look, they grow up so fast. <laughs> you are big chickens now. And you look fine at one month old. Very nice. Uh, no, don't eat it. We'll do eggs tomorrow. I'm gonna eat them, give them to Robin. Something, something that I don't want to happen will happen. And you may come out as well. I said this is gonna be a relaxed uh, fall first, but I need to pick up the pace a little bit here. Okay. Uh, first things first, let's go get our scythe. take us like two seconds to uh, hit the mine and grab that. Good. And now we'll get our seeds from Piers and we'll be good to go. Uh, last season for summer, I kind of just uh, had a vague idea what I wanted and just let it play out like it would. Um, I know you do, Marnie. Uh, this year I actually know exactly what I'm getting. He does have the good stuff. Hey, Pierre. Yeah, I am gonna go all out. <laughs> Funny. Uh, we're getting 320 20 pumpkin seeds. Three hundred and twenty pumpkin seeds, eight eggplant. Uh, 
uh, six yam, 32 cranberries. Cranberries used to be amazing. They're not anymore. Um, two fairy seeds, an amaranth, uh, three grapes, and one more pumpkin. And what does that leave us with? 23,000? We need 10,000 for our house upgrade, 4,000 for a duck. Let's get the backpack, backpack upgrade while we're here. This is the last one. Yay, thanks. With the animals and everything else, this will come in handy. It's not needed, but it's nice. Okay, and now we need to uh, get to work here. And get this coal out of my inventory. And this is the nice part about planning this. Is the fields are all ready. It takes two seconds, everything is watered and good to go. Um, let me just, I guess I'll just go through and do all of them. And then plant. Oh, uh, you know what, these sprinklers are not nice, huh? This is gonna be the hard, the hard field. All the, the pumpkin fields should be really simple. Um, let's take out these corn. Let's take out this old fertilizer. Do a little bit of a uh, plowing. And watering. is ready this is the that's the field that we're going to be using fertilizers and everything on and again just a tiny bit of plowing to do or hoeing, I guess. Oh, I guess I should have uh, finished harvesting this before I started doing that. Makes sense. And just water this bit. Just like that, we're ready to uh, plant. Oh wait, one more over here. Good. We're gonna keep that corn. Else do we need? Let's put that away. 
we need our rare seeds. I guess, yeah, I guess we'll start down here. Okay. Let's see. Quality, quality, quality. Um, deluxe speed grow, deluxe speed grow, deluxe speed grow. Quality, quality. Quality, quality, one deluxe speed grow. Flowers. We want the flowers on the deluxe speed grow. Uh, grape starters. I hate these grapes. I can never get them planted right. Okay. Then we want deluxe speed grow, speed grow. Then we want one speed grow. For a yam. And then we want deluxe speed grow. Deluxe speed grow. For a pumpkin. And amaranth. And then, let's take care of uh, this stuff real quick. What do we have, 21? I hope this isn't a mistake doing these, uh, doing these jars. I think, we have, I think we have plenty of time though. This field that we're planning right now is the only tricky one. And I'm using uh, the deluxe speed growth for the things that we need for our for our bundles or uh, for to get the best honey. And then I want a quality quality fertilizer because the things on this field have the best chance of uh, just being sold outright. Like the cranberries, I'm sure we'll preserve some of them uh, just because they're worth more than the blueberries. But once we get the our first pumpkin harvest, the only thing that's going to go in our preserve jars are pumpkins, and these cranberries are probably going to be sold outright. So it only makes sense uh, to use the, the best fertilizer since we have it. Okay, that's all the fertilizers. We have these five yams. And these are also, um, this is a, a favorite of Linus's. So I'm putting them on the uh, best fertilizer because you get more relationship points for higher quality uh, items. And then we just have a four sprinklers worth of cranberries. Um, we could do more pumpkins, except for there's only so much that we can do because, well, does that need to be fertilized? No. There's only so much we can do because we only have so many, so many preserve jars to process, process everything. So for five fields of pumpkins, I loosely calculated that we would need, um, you know, let's go lock up the animals while we're, before we start on the pumpkins. So that'll be taken care of. I loosely calculated that we would probably need um, 35 preserve jars to get through um, all of the pumpkins that we have. Uh, using this month and winter. If we preserve them for two months, uh, we need 35 preserve jars to do that. So, um, 
Um, which is good because I think I've said this more than once. I don't want like a huge, a huge labor intensive farm where all I'm doing is a, uh, from sun up till sundown is like taking care of this stuff. I want like a, a lot of money, as much money as I can get, but I don't want it to be labor intensive. So uh, 35 preserve jars seems like a reasonable amount to me, not too, uh, 35 preserve jars, like 100 kegs, that doesn't seem, that gives us like a ton of potential for income, but it doesn't seem unmanageable. something about that first spot I just don't like hitting. And what is it, 1030? Holly, you're gonna have to get off there. Just saying. Tell me this is not gonna be a thing. o'clock it's late but we still uh we took care of all our chores had to run around do errands so uh i think this uh planting has gone remarkably remarkably well Again, what we were doing. And we're out of... What time is it? One o'clock? Just want to check out our trees real quick. I think we already beat back those a little bit. Um... I don't want any debris around the field uh, just because they can destroy crops. We have that little border which uh, should help. Like if anything was going to destroy, it should de destroy that little flooring. Uh, but, oh, don't pass out. It was such a good day. Oh no. No. Oh, she did pass out. I couldn't save her. Oh, no. That was just me being inobservant. Okay. Um, we are going to go ahead and end the episode there. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll come back for uh, day two of fall. Bye-bye.